When you encounter a patient with an anterior crossbite, it is easy to assume that the patient has a class 3 skeletal tendency. But, if you observe that their upper anterior teeth are retroclined, the patient may in fact not be class 3. Occasionally, the lower anterior teeth will also flare facially as they collide with the upper anterior teeth. It is important to evaluate this patient with their lower teeth out of occlusion, with their lower jaw retracted posteriorly as far as comfortable. Then, have the patient close until their first point of contact. If you notice that the patient's incisors contact end to end, the patient may in fact be actively protruding his mandible to slide past this interference. This allows his posterior teeth to come into occlusion. By bringing these upper anterior teeth forward into ideal alignment and retracting the splayed lower anterior teeth, you may be able to unlock this patient's natural bite. With this interference now eliminated, you may allow them to close in a more ideal position.